James Allen once said that you are today where your thoughts have brought you, you will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. And that's a very relevant quote to what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the power of your thoughts in regards to reprogramming your subconscious mind, why it's so important, and why you should really pay attention to what you're thinking of. Okay, in regards to the subconscious mind and the conscious mind, I want you to think of this certain analogy. Think of your mind as kind of like a company, right? A company where you have the executive or the CEO, that's your conscious mind, and then you have the rest of the company, that's your subconscious mind. So the executive, the CEO, he uh, makes the big decisions. You make the choices, you point the company in whichever direction you think is appropriate, and you don't pay attention to the nitty gritty, to the um, things that are happening below you. You don't pay too much attention to the um, advertisers, you don't pay too much attention to the cleaners, to the workers, to the managers, all these other people. That's the subconscious mind, the people that actually get the company going, the people that do the hard work. The conscious mind just points in the direction. So your conscious mind, your thoughts are going to point you in the direction of what you're going to achieve in life. Because what happens is, whatever you think of repetitively over and over and over and over again, gets soaked up in the subconscious mind until it now becomes automatic and then the trajectory of your life is set. Right. So if you're someone who's thinking about negative thoughts all the time, you're always thinking about how you're ugly, how people don't like you, how you're going to fail at whatever things you try to achieve, all these things that are negative, right? If you do it repetitively, repetitively, if you have victim mindset repetitively, repetitively, it becomes automatic. That's why you see some people with these characteristics, especially like the victim mindset, they always see the negatives in situations. They always complain about things because it's no longer them that's doing it. It's now the subconscious mind. They're now pretty much a robot, right? So this is important because if you can learn to program positive things, you can start seeing the other side of the spectrum of the subconscious mind where you're going to always have good thoughts. You're always going to have success in life. You're going to have confidence, high self-esteem because those things are essentially going to be a part of yourself. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this thing called the reticular activation system. Now, Mothers can attest to this. That you might have a woman who previously was able to sleep through heavy traffic, right, with ease. And as soon as she becomes a mother, as soon as she hears the faint noise of the baby crying, she can wake up and go help the baby. That's because her reticular activation system has now changed to be able to um, pick up on those things. It's pretty much a filtering software. It's why when you're in a loud room where people are talking, you don't really pay attention to what's going on around you, but if someone mentions your name, boom, you zone in and pay attention. Your reticular activation system has been made in such a way to pay attention to those things, to things that your subconscious mind knows to be important. So when we program our reticular activation system or our subconscious mind for success for positivity, we're essentially going to see these things without effort or we program them for negativity we're going to find the problems and situations without effort that's why some people that program their minds for negativity with repetitive negative thoughts they can be given five compliments six compliments and one point criticism and they'll pay attention to that criticism over the compliments right because their mind literally zones into the negativity it's programmed to do that Someone on the other side of the spectrum who programs their subconscious mind to pick up on positivity, to pick up on the good things in life, will essentially have a cruisier time going through life. For example, me, in regards to the subconscious mind and stoicism, whenever I'm faced with a situation where I'm uncertain about a particular outcome, but I've got two things to believe in. For example, if someone cuts me off while I'm driving and speeds off, you don't know why they're speeding off. You could either uh, think of them as being a jackass, as being an asshole, and doing it on purpose to annoy you, or you could think of them as maybe they're in a hurry, there's a reason for them to do that. I always take the positive side because in the grand scheme of things, what they're actually doing doesn't matter, but your perception or your reaction to it at that moment is what matters. It's going to influence the quality of your life. I always take the positive, and that's because I program my subconscious mind to take the positives. So that's a very powerful thing indeed. Now, thinking, a lot of great uh Personal development gurus or the past, I'm talking about it, you know, James Allen, um, and Think and Grow Rich, I'm talking about, I mean, James Allen and As a Man Thinketh, Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich, and all these people, like the book Cycle Seven X, they always talk about your thoughts, your thoughts, and if you 
get deeper down a rabbit hole of personal development, of studying the subconscious mind, of actually practicing these things and trying it out for yourself, you will see that your thoughts do have a huge impact on your life. So pay attention to your thoughts very carefully because they are the seed to your garden. That is what James Allen says. You can either plant good seeds and have a wonderful harvest that's going to help you in life, that's going to you know, sustain you in the winters that come, or you can plant bad seeds and have weeds that fuck up everything and make things terrible for yourself. So it's up to you. Pay attention to your thoughts, take stock, and if you see yourself engaging in negativity that you don't want to be repetitive, that you don't want to be automatic, make a conscious effort to stop it and make a conscious effort to put the good stuff in until it echoes, until it's part of the subconscious. So that's the video for today, guys. Um, please put down your thoughts down below. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be seeing you next for the next installment of this Subconscious Mind Reprogramming Series. I got plenty more, baby. Don't worry about it.